Hello again, I'm Vic and as I promised last time I will now try to solve the house based on an idea I had watching raw footage from the previous episode. Basically it occurred to me that I'm not just guessing which rooms belong in the house, but every room is used only once and only in the correct place, which means that you can guess the logical layout of the house and redesign it so to speak. Well, let's give it a try then. As I was telling you last time, matching the door with the correct room uh, will have the portal blink white and if you make a mistake it will blink red. Make two mistakes and you have to start over and over and over. So I remember from that time that yes this room actually belongs here, which it does, and it will always be here, this particular room, that's what we're looking for. Uh, this is not it, but this is. Okay. So these two room are, rooms are exactly in place and I shouldn't place them again anywhere else. That was the thing I didn't figure out last time. Uh, this is on the bottom floor so stairs do not belong here. This table might be in place. Let's see what else. No, this is not an office. So let's bet on this one and we win again. Okay, perfect. Now let's see what room would fit in here. Mm, this looks like the roof and I don't think we're at roof level just yet. And those look like stairs. Let's swap. A kitchen would match here. Uh, this could be here too. Let's see the kitchen again. Well, let's try this one. Perfect. Well. So we don't need to see the house as I thought the last time. We just need to figure out what rooms match where. Huh. Alright. Um, hmm. Let's hope this one is here. Yes, it is. Perfect. Uh, and would the office be here then? Well, hopefully. No, it's not. Damn it. The office... It's not the office. How about this one? No, it's not and we messed up. Try again. So we already know that no, this is not here, this is not here, this is here. Um, no, yes, this is here. Uh, no, this one. Perfect. Okay. We have the kitchen here and it is already in place. Let's see, are there any other portals around? No. Uh, okay, next floor. And here, no. I think this... No, this is it. Yep. Perfect. What else? Maybe this one? Yes, this one. Great. Uh, what would fit here? I think we already placed this one. Yes, we did. It's on the bottom floor. How about this one? No, I don't think those stairs belong in there. Uh, no. Huh. Did I play? Uh, man. Fine, let's try this one. Perfect. Excellent. What kind of house is this? Ooh, okay, now I get it. Okay, let's see which one would... No, I don't think there are any more stairs. Hmm. This? Yes. Good. We already placed this room, I don't know what that is. 
Okay. Could be this one. And it is. Excellent. Okay, I know that I placed that one. No, this one I think. Perfect. Okay, yeah, I was right. Let's see what we have on the last floor. But I have to say, I might be optimistic about this one. Uh, no. I think I remember placing this one. Let's try this. Nah, man. Hmm. Okay. We're only allowed one more mistake. We make it. We're doomed. Hmm. Yes, last floor. You know what? I think it, it's this. Look at the roof. Yay! Okay. Did I solve it? Are we done with this house? Uh, oh! Oh, right, 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 right. What? We unlocked this room. Excellent! Good. Great. I'm happy. A magician once lived inside an old house and made potions that let him see the future. People from the village came to the magician's house and demanded that he share his potions with them. We want to see the future too, they told him, but the magician said no. The people from the village grew angry and burned the magician's house, but the magician knew this would happen. He had already cast a spell on his potion room. The house burned, but the room did not. The people from the valley waited, but the magician never came out. Okay, so this would be the room. So, oh. Why are you standing there? You spying? No. No. Huh? What the hell's wrong with you exactly? <sighs> Nothing. You need to stop leaving your stupid stories around. They're freaking hmm. everyone out. Well, they're not. Perfect. Oh. More stories? Blaze reveals moonshine operation by Daniel Josephson. Bayfield County, Ashland Township volunteer firefighters discovered an apparent moonshine still while battling a blaze in the woods off Old Ogden Road. According to authorities, the still comprised a propane stove and four gallon stainless steel pot which was used to hold a whiskey mash. Based on the size of the still, Bayfield County Sheriff Hawk Schaefel believes it may be part of a small operation, though he admitted there could be other stills in the county. Officers on the scene recovered a half gallon of apple pie moonshine and one gallon of unflavored moonshine. Apple cider and cinnamon sticks were found adjacent to the still. The police have been unable to determine who owns the still. And why was this important? We don't know, we don't know. Here's the still. But is it the potion master still? Or just for moonshine? Oh. Alright. And I'm thinking that we're done with this, aren't we? Well, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.